What's up, folks? It's your buddy, Fatal Roadie. Today we're going to be doing the SmackDown review. We started off with a recap of last week with John Cena and Shinsuke Nakamura. We then go to the ring where John Cena cuts a promo praising Shinsuke Nakamura. Baron Corbin comes out and runs down John Cena. Talks about having a fight with him but backs away, saying that John Cena's not worth it. Daniel Bryan comes out, and he sets up a match at SummerSlam with Baron Corbin and John Cena, which brings us to our first match, Ty Dillinger and Sami Zayn versus the Usos. This is at least a different match. At least we're not seeing the same people over and over again, so I'll give them credit for the match. It was a decent match. Sami Zayn and Ty Dillinger had a good portion of offense in here, but the Usos turned it around, got Ty Dillinger in a submission move, Ty Dillinger tapped, so the Usos won. Shortly after the match, the New Day come out, surprisingly, and jump the Usos. So this looks like it's going to be a pretty decent match going into SummerSlam with the Usos versus the New Day. We then have another Waste of Time Fashion Files segment, so we're just going to skip that. Then we have Lana versus Charlotte. Towards the beginning of this match, it appeared that Charlotte was just playing around with Lana. Lana took a little bit of an exception to that and raged out at Charlotte. At one point, it almost looked like she was about to pull down Charlotte's shorts. Charlotte picked up the victory on this match. And like I said, it was a decent match. We didn't see like all the women grouped up in one match just to show, hey, we got a women's match here. So it was a decent match. I liked it. We then have Shane McMahon coming out, cutting a promo about the U.S. title match at SummerSlam. He calls out Kevin Owens and AJ Styles, and each one of them are talking their case about, you know, who's screwing who, and Kevin Owens was saying that Shane McMahon screwed a title match at one point in time, and everyone's going back and forth. It all culminates into a big fight between Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. Kevin Owens hits AJ Styles. AJ Styles retaliates with a Pele kick, but it hits Shane McMahon instead of Kevin Owens. We then have another women's match, Naomi versus Carmella. It was a pretty decent match. Carmella picked up the victory due to interference by James Ellsworth, who is now back. We then have an interview backstage with Shinsuke Nakamura. He cuts a promo about his match at SummerSlam. Now I'm going to touch on something that was brought up by Jinder Mahal. He said that everybody hates him because he looks different, he sounds different, etc. and so forth. So if Shinsuke Nakamura wins this, by that thought, everyone's going to hate Shinsuke Nakamura, which is a high, highly doubtful because Shinsuke Nakamura is a pretty big face in, in the WWE. He looks different from everyone else. Definitely sounds different than everyone else. So that little theory of was I guess xenophobia or whatever you want to call it is blown right out the window. Albeit the fact that I do like Jinder Mahal as a champion, I think it was pretty cool that they put the belt on him. I just don't like his little attitude about the belt. Brings us to our main event, grudge match between Randy Orton and Jinder Mahal. I do have a little bit of a complaint about them introducing Jinder Mahal first, being the fact that he is the champion. Traditionally, champions are always introduced last. They gave him pretty much, well, they didn't give him a full jobber entrance where they just say, hey, here he is right there. He actually walked to the ring, but still, they should have introed Randy Orton first. It was a pretty decent match. I liked it. Um, at one point in time, Jinder Mahal almost ate an RKO on the table. Towards the end of the match, Jinder Mahal got the upper hand. He was about to put the Coloss on Randy Orton. Randy Orton countered it into an RKO and got the pin. As Randy Orton was celebrating going up the ramp, right at the entrance, Rusev super kicked him square in the face and laid him out. And then we went off the air. This was a really good SmackDown. I liked it. It was decent. Definitely blew Raw out of the water. The matches were definitely diverse. We didn't see the same people fighting each other over and over again like we see on Raw. The only repeat match we saw was Jenner Mahal and Randy Orton. And it's been a while since those two fought. So I'll give them a little leeway on that. That being said, everything else was pretty good. The women's matches were really good. It was a surprise to see the New Day take the attack to the Usos. I'm looking forward to seeing their uh, SummerSlam match. But that'll do it for this episode of SmackDown Review. Leave a comment down below of what you thought of tonight's show, what you thought about this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've been Fatal Rudy. You've been awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, it's too loud, you're too old. See ya.